Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Praveen Kumar, and today I am going to take another in-house training session, and the topic is Bloom's taxonomy. Okay, and here are some slides through which we will go ahead and came to know about what is exactly Bloom's taxonomy. Is. All right. So let's have an overview first. So in overview, what we are going to know about in this session. Bloom said, uh, so the first is Bloom's taxonomy and higher order thinking. The another is investigate the revised taxonomy. We will be able to compare about the old term and the new term. When was a new term going to be uh, published or going to be uh, followed by us? All right. And after that, we will be able to explore each of the six level, which comes under the taxonomy part. And C, we will be able to see how the questioning plays an important role within the framework. All right. So before we will go ahead and uh, know about it, okay, we should know about this person who exactly introduced taxonomy. Okay. So that person is Benjamin Bloom. Okay. It is, uh, he is, was an uh, American educational psychologist and he created Bloom's taxonomy that was on some around in 1956 to promote higher order thinking in education. Okay. So it's a great com uh, contributions that he uh, gave it to in the education or in the teaching. Okay. And contributed towards research in mastery learning. Pupils are taught at their level of proficiency under this okay pupils are assessed pupils given more opportunity to master the learning or given more challenging tasks they were given by us okay by teachers and apart from that we focus on process in this not on the content okay and so what exactly the taxonomy is okay so Bloom is the one who invented this or who exactly introduced this term taxonomy and taxonomy is the term through which we will be able to know what comes under this. So taxonomy is not anything. It is just basically a classification or we can say it is basically a strategy. All right. Whenever we are going to classroom or whenever we are going to teach, all right, we definitely make some strategy under which we are going to follow and we are going to teach about, uh, about any topic to the students, okay? And Bloom's classifies ways of thinking from lower order to more difficult higher order skills. These terms were updated in the 90s, 90s. Okay, so earlier as we came to know that it was given in somewhere around 1956 and again it was given or it was updated that we can say on 1990. So if we talk about the original term when it was introduced first, so we came to know about the, the first is knowledge and then comprehension and then application, analysis, synthesis and evaluation. And after that, the term evaluation and synthesis has been changed. Synthesis has been changed into the creating and evaluation has been lowered down. So the first terms as now remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. So why do we exactly using these terms? We should know about it, the objective of using the Bloom's taxonomy. All right. So objectives are important to establish in a pedagogical interchange so that teachers and students alike understand the purpose of that interchange. And organize objectives help to clarify objectives for themselves and for their uh, for the students. Having an organization set of objectives help teachers to plan and deliver appropriate instructions, design valid assessment tasks and strategies, and ensure the instruction and assessment and are aligned with the objects. 
so every term has their own importance or and we are going to know about the terms one by one so if we talk about the remembering okay so the first term is remembering if we talk about the rem remembering it is nothing it is a recalling information all right so whenever we are used to teach students okay we ask certain questions all right we will be able to get this information in the next uh, slide as well so it is nothing it is a just recalling information recognizing listening describing retrieving naming and finding so in other word we can say that remembering had these kinds of other names as well all right so remembering that means like whenever you are going to teach students about the any topic we exactly ask certain types of question to the students what is what do you understand by this passage all right what is the importance of this passage how exactly you are going to correlate with this with the another topic so remembering so that is what exactly they recall whatever they studied whatever they listened by the teachers by the books okay whatever the information that they gain they are going to recall it they are going to learn it and after that we are going to know about the understanding in understanding it is basically a uh, explaining the ideas or concepts interpreting summarizing excuse me parveen sir yes excuse me parveen sir yes uh, i'm just uh, dropping the link of attendance and uh, please inform to all the teachers uh, they will uh, uh, they will uh, just fill up the attendance uh, sheet okay all right sir i'm the dropping in the uh, chat box all right so definitely i will do that so teachers kindly i am sharing uh, attendance link okay please uh, while do you are going to uh, attend the session you can go ahead and fill up that attendance link okay please allow me a moment Uh, meanwhile i am sending uh, the attendance link let me go ahead and with uh, the session once again okay where i was in understanding term so i was talking about understanding term okay so understanding is something in which we make the students aware about any topic if we talk about science we are developing their idea we are developing their informations what exactly they are gaining okay what they can do and after understanding okay understand in other words we can say the classifying of things we are explaining we are comparing the topics okay the one things with the another and after uh, understanding we can go with the applying in applying it is basically using information in another familiar situation huh. or or we can say that we are implementing it we are carrying out we are using it or executing it and after that it is about the analyzing so analyzing is breaking information into part to explore okay so like if we talk about the any topic we exactly came to know about the each part of the topic we are going to explore it we are going to know the moral if we are if it if i talk about the literature we are going to know about the theme of it we are going to know about the moral of it we are going to know about the main objective it of it all right and the relationship regarding it and then evaluating okay in evaluating we are justifying a decision all right so whether whatever exactly we learn whatever we understand whatever we applied 
we are just going to take decision on it so that is something our high order thinking in students exactly they will develop their idea all right and the last is creating okay so creating is something where students can generate their ideas about any products or ways they are thinking way they are planning so if you can see here as well if we talk about the remembering so i can say that i can remember facts about and the information understanding i can explain the idea in the information applying i can use the information in a new way analyzing i can break down the information which i got to understand it better evaluating i can see what i think about the information and back up my opinion and creating is something i can use the information to build new ideas remembering here there are certain questions okay if we talk about remembering how exactly uh, we came to know that whether the students are learning where they are getting the information or not okay so the remembering we can ask certain questions and there are the list of the questions which we can go through with it so the remembering if suppose that we are going to cover or we are going to teach students about any topic so we can ask them while teaching what happened before or what happened after all right so we should go ahead and take a pause while teaching all right we can recall and we can go ahead and ask the students about it and through that we will be able to came to know about the conclusion the topic that i am teaching or the way i am teaching whether the students are getting it or not okay and there are the certain questions that we can ask how many there are suppose that there are something a number is there okay so we can ask about the how many all right what is the term that i am teaching what did you understand about it what was is that or apart from that we can say that how would you explain or describe this passage or this uh, part of it okay so this is basically a behavioral learning outcome through this we will be able to tell whether the students are gaining it or not you can definitely share your information or your uh, question as well which you used to ask in the uh, while you teach in the class okay like there are when did who did what did why did can you identify can you select or can you picture who spoke to who were or what were okay it is not limited with any particular subject okay if whether we are going to teach any subject we are going to teach any topic these questions used be used to often ask to the students now remembering in which the learner is able to recall all right recall right whatever exactly they are gaining the information through us through teachers or through books exactly this is the time where students can recall and that it, through that we can be able to came to know that whether what is the memory power or the memorizing power of the any students okay and there are some terms which exactly equivalent or which we can say that the synonyms of remembering which we can say the recognizing listening describing identifying retrieving naming locating finding okay or through that we can ask the students that can you recall the information okay now remembering is this is exactly potential activity and products how we can say about it is a potential activity because this is certain a guideline with through which we can judge any students whether the students are capable enough to learn to memorize or not okay so we can ask the students to make a story map showing the main event of the story 
make a timeline of your typical day, make a concept map of the topic, and there are the certain questions that we can ask as well. All right. Please allow me a moment. So by the end of this uh, remembering a term exactly now the student will be able to recite anything. Suppose that I am teaching or we are teaching the students about the Newton's, Newton's third law of motion. Okay. We explain each and everything about it. Okay. And after that, the moment we finish this and then I, we can use to ask, we can ask them that what is the Newton's third law of motion and in which exactly students eager to tell the answer. Okay. They are being competitive with each other. All right. That I want to answer. I want to answer and through that we will be able to know the eagerness between the students and this, after that understanding so now the understanding is the second term okay after remembering the second term of the Bloom's taxonomy so now in this lesson or in this term we used to describe explain the any topic or any particular subject to the students okay we set certain examples give the original idea of something and at the end of that once we finish it the students will be able to describe it now in remembering the students will be able to tell newton's law maybe they didn't understood it but now the moment they will be able to understand they would be able to describe so there is a difference between saying that there is difference between describing okay so describing terms comes when exactly students would be able to understand okay now by saying that that every action has equal and opposite reaction that doesn't mean they understood it that says that they memorize it but the moment they will be able to go ahead and explain it how exactly it work that will be able to build understanding level of the student and the moment exactly we finish with the topic suppose that the newton's law topic okay then i can ask what how would you say tell in your own word as well how would you explain this so while saying only that the every action has equal and opposite reaction, reaction all right this is not the explaining this is something that he just memorized it and he said it all right explaining is something in which he will be able to explain that how the newton's third law of motion exactly work okay now after that what do you think could have happened next okay now what do you think about this topic apart from that i can ask that can you clarify what it means by and apart from bookish example we can ask the students to set your own examples as well what facts or ideas or word shows this how could you explain what is happening and why this is something a uh, different uh, questions that we can ask to the students now understanding now through this the learner the students grasp the meaning of information by interpreting and translating what has been learned so it can be said that like it is interpreting ex uh, exemplifying summarizing inferring paraphrasing classifying comparing explaining paraphrasing, paraphrasing that through the understanding we can say as well like whatever we are saying the student if getting the same information and he is delivering it that is what the paraphrasing is so understanding potential activities and products okay so the moment students will be able to understand this what will be the benefit 
how it will work for the students. That is going to know. Like we can ask the, like we studied or we taught students about a certain type of uh, literature topic. Okay. So, apart from the bookish world, we can ask the students that you can write this in your own words as well. Cut out or draw pictures to illustrate a particular event in the story. Apart from that, we can ask that to explain this complete uh, topic to the class as well. Illustrate what you think the main idea may have been. Okay, main idea that we can say that the moral or what is the outcome, what is the overview, what is the objective of the topic. Write, the, per, write and perform a play based on the story. That is something, a class activity that we can ask the student to get involved in. Write a brief outline to explain the stories to someone else. Explain why the character solved the problem in this particular way. Right, write a summary report of the event. Now suppose that we are going to read to students about the any poem. So we used to ask the students to write the poem, all right, to write the summary of it. So definitely students tried to use some words which is from the book and something that they are using it from their own. So the moment they will be able to use their own idea, their own philosophy, the moment they will be able to understand it. So these are certain understanding uh, category through which the students or the learner will be able to get it. Now on the next we have applying. Applying is something, it is a calculative process in which the students is going to apply what they have remembered, what they have understand and now this is the time that they are going to implement it. So applying is also an important part of the Bloom's taxonomy. Okay. Now, what exactly the applying term is? Okay. In this, they solve or they illustrate. Okay. Uh, suppose that the Newton's third law of motions that I am talking about. Now, earlier they remember it. They understand it. Now this is the time that they can apply it. All right, suppose that now we are making students aware about the fire extinguisher, okay, how it works or how it works okay, uh, whenever the, uh, it gets fired or someone uh, gets fired. So in this, they would be able to go ahead and apply. We would be able to tell them the certain point how to use the extinguisher. Now it's up to him that they how they are using using it. So this is kind of a use that we can say in other word applying. And the moment they've started applying, then the learner, the students will be able to calculate it. And thereafter they will be go ahead and able to implement it. Now we will be able to came to know whether the students are capable enough to apply it or not. So we can ask here certain questions as well. How or why is an example of? So the moment you are asking how, how it worked and if the student or learner is going to explain it or going to tell you about it, so definitely they will be able to in the right path. Now, apart from that, what facts would you choose to show? How would you explain what is happening and why? Okay, so these are the certain questions that you can go through with it. What examples can you find? Do you know of another instance where? How would you use? Which factors would you change it? From the information given, can you develop a set of instruction about? So these are the certain questions. Now, now the moment applying. Now the, the learner makes use of information. Whatever they learn, whatever they 
understand they are going to use it in a constant different form of the one in which it was learned so it was nothing it was like a implementing it was using it is carrying out or it is execution or executing that can you can you use the information in another familiar situation so that you can uh, send your comment in the chat box as well now applying potential activity and products okay in applying to construct a model to demonstrate how it looks or works so if practice a play or perform it to for the class make a dharma to illustrate an event write a diary event make a scrapbook about the areas of study most of you may be like thinking that applying is something a science like only the science the teacher or only the, the students who are interested in science kind of a subject only that person can implementing or applying it but that is not true that is something a literature or any other subjects can also use it okay so if i ask if i will go for the third topic which is a make a write a diary entry okay so write a diary entry something that they are applying they are using whatever exactly they learn or understand make a scrapbook about the areas of study prepare invitations for a character's birthday party make a topographic map take a display a collection of photograph on a, a particular topic so through this we will be able to know whether the students are on the right path or not and after that analyzing analyzing is something where we will be able to classify things the topic of the subject we will be able to break down or we will be able to categorize things in this the analyze it or we can say the diagram of it to illustrate it or we can say the simplify and in this the student will be able to differentiate between the two different terms okay now which events could or could not have happened now the moment we are going to ask this questions which event could or could not have happened okay so they will be able to know the positive and the negative part of it if i say about the students that i will just take a glass and fill half glass of water in it and i will be going to ask all right whether the glass is half filled or whether the glass is half empty okay so we can go ahead and understand it the moment they are answering it we can ask him if you are if you have selected or if you have asked that the glass is half empty or the glass is half full what why did you say so okay so that through this questions we can definitely we will be able to go ahead and tell them that what did you analyze if you said that the glass is half empty or the glass is half full why did you choose it it is a random selection that it is kind of a, like take the correct answer or whether you have a certain kind of mindset and you answered it because if you are saying that the glass is half full it shows the positiveness of it and if you are saying the glass is half empty it is something a negative that you are asking all right and i asked the same question to the students as well and one student informed me about a very good part of it is right because half glass the full half glass shows that positiveness and the half glass shows that negative of that part but the boy says that sir i have chosen half glass empty all right and i chosen this just because of i am not happy what i have and i wanted to gain more so that is something a positive thing which he has chosen 
in from the negative part so through that i can say that yes he, he has elaborated he understood it all right he would be able to compare the two scenario all right he would be able to differentiate the things now after that we can ask what patterns can you see in what is the relation between this is also a nice question so like what is the relation between all right about the two topics that we can say or about the two persons that we can say which things were facts and which were opinions what was the purpose of what was the important information and what is irrelevant what evidence can you find to what conclusion could you make how would you group how would you sort classify or categorize so this is analyzing and in analyzing we will be came to know uh, with the different terms as well okay where the learner would be able to compare organize deconstructing attributing outlining finding the structuring and integrating okay there could be another uh, synonyms of that analyzing that you can definitely share with me now the potential activities and the products of analyzing all right so which we can ask the students to do that so there are the certain things that you can see all right we can ask the students that use a venn diagram to show how two topics are the same and different design a questionnaire to gather information survey classmates to find out what they think about a particular topic analyze and result make a flow chart to show the critical stages classify the actions of the characters in the book create a socialism from the narrative constructions a group construct a group i'm sorry to illustrate select information selected information make a family tree showing relationship so these are the certain questions or certain activity that we can ask to the students to know about it now and thereafter the very second last term uh, is evaluating now evaluating okay evaluating that is something we can to say that about to choose something or to support to relate or we can say to the construct or justify in this lesson the students will be able to determine whether using such kind of uh, topic right uh, suppose that if i will go ahead and uh, take a topic from the science okay so i will be able to see that the the students would be able to determine whether using a uh, conservation of energy or conservation of momentum like suppose that i have taken two topic the conservation of energy and the conservation of momentum so they will be able to go ahead and uh justify their answer all right what is are they same are they are different are they are going to support uh, their answer they are going to justify their answer they are going to evaluate their answer and in evaluating uh, we can ask certain type of questions again to the students okay in order to check their uh, idea their mind their development is there a better solution to what would you say is the importance value of can you defend your position about okay suppose that something which i told you the earlier example of that glass which was filled with the half glass empty and half glass full all right and that a student exactly answered me a different way and he justified the answer as well so i can say that now that voice was on that term where he can evaluate he can justify his answer only giving the answer is not the correct way until or unless he is not able to justify it so justifying uh now let's talk about uh, like another topic which uh, if i suppose that now if i say Uh, any students about the grammar term okay so he said 
uh, like in, if we talk about the simple present tense or in a negative sentence so we say he goes to market and we when we make a negative of it he we say he does not go to market so goes change into go whenever we use does not so we can simply say to the students that with a third person singular number you can use with the term does not and whenever you are using does not it will comes under the verb one the main verb will change into verb five to verb one so by saying this you are just giving the information about it but if a student is going to know they are eager to know about it that why exactly verb five is going to change into verb one so if they are going to answer it or maybe like if they are going to justify this answer by their own all right so these are the questions that the students can ask as well and the moment exactly you justify your answer all right you support your answer why exactly now verb 5 has been to change into verb 1 whenever we are going to make a negative of it all right so this kind of questions that we can ask that we, the students can ask right in order to check their mindset whether they are learning it perfectly or not now thereafter how would you have handled what change to would you recommend what do they, uh, did they choose what are the right to do so what are the consequences what is the importance of Okay, so whenever we are asking certain sort of questions to the students and if they are answering it, so that means they are justifying the, their answer, okay? They are capable enough to judge whatever exactly they are saying, whether the answer is right or not. So evaluating uh, in other terms we can uh, talk about evaluating we can in other terms we can say it like checking, hypothesizing, uh, critiquing, experimenting, judging, testing, detecting or monitoring. Please allow me a moment. Now the potential uh, activities and the products of evaluating. Okay. Now suppose that something we have make uh, students learn. Okay. Like first question is write a letter to the editor. Okay. Now I, uh, if we are going to uh, teach students to write the letter about uh, to editor. Okay. And I told him how to write later. Okay. And apart from that, I told him. I gave him a scenario in which exactly they are going to write a letter. What if scenario is going to change? How is they are going to write their letter? In the first scenario, suppose that if we are going to talk about the nuisance of the loudspeaker, okay, which is which is something I explained to the students. Alright. And now I have changed the topic and I gave him another topic about the Dory system. And I ask them that write a letter to the editor informing about the Dory system or the uh, what is the cause or what is the like harm of it to the society. So now they are going to develop their own idea. They are going to develop. That is what the higher order thinking is. They are going to know. They know what is the Dory system. They know what will be the harm. Okay, uh, if uh, Dory system is going to be followed by the society, right? How to prevent it? So this is certain that they are going to write the letter. They are going to express their idea. Apart from that, we can uh, we can prepare and conduct a debate. Okay. So now in debate, we can give a topic to the students: the use of mobile. So, so now we are very much involved with mobile. Any is of students or a person that we can say that we are very much affected by uses of mobile. All right. So that doesn't mean it has only the negative. It has the positive as well, positive aspect as well. 
okay so now we can prepare and we can conduct a debate okay of one who can achieve the positive of it and one he can choose the negative of it and both of them can debate with each other apart from that we can ask the students to prepare of a list of criteria to judge write a persuasive speech arguing for or against make a booklet about five rules you see as important convince others from a panel to discuss viewpoint on a uh, right later to advising on changes need write a half yearly report prepare a cause to prevent your view about complete a pmi on or evaluate the character's action in the story okay so now the moment the students be asked about any topic and we can give any questions through which we will be able to know that the whether the students are on that harder how uh, sorry higher or the thinking level or not whether the students is able to evaluate the things or the topic or not and the last term of the taxonomy the bloom's taxonomy is creating this is the last term that we can say in which the students would be able to design to formulate to build their own they would be able to develop they would be able to modify okay now earlier i was talking about the energy of conversion uh, conversation and the sorry conversation of energy and the conversation sorry conservation of energy and conservation of momentum okay so now suppose that we are going to deliver the same topic about it and in this what they can create so by the end of this the student or learner will be able to design or original homework problem dealing with the principle of conservation of energy okay so where exactly they are creating where they are generating their own idea please allow me a moment this is something which is a combining parts uh, to make a new home now in this we would be able to ask again the certain questions to the students exactly what they are creating and how they are creating putting elements together uh, to form a coherent or function whole recognizing elements into a view pattern or a structure through generating planning or producing now suppose you could what would you do right we can ask suppose you would be the prime minister or the chief minister of uh, india or bihar what would you do what are you what you are going to do what would be a possible solution to how could you change the plot all right how could you design invent a new way to how would you explain or describe what theory can come up with for what new and unusual use usage can you think of for what proposal can you come up with or what outcome could you predict it now the creating in this the learning creates new idea and information using what has been previously learned like remembering understanding analyzing applying evaluating and now this is the step okay where they would be able to create all right so creating in other terms we can say that designing constructing planning producing plan uh, uh, inventing devising or making now uh, let's recall it once again uh, with the term questioning questions for remembering so what are the certain questions that we can ask the students so that they can go ahead and learn But before that i would like to tell you about the bloom's taxonomy it is exactly a, a idea which is to develop to provide a common language 
for teachers to discuss and exchange the learning and the assessment method. It is a specific learning outcomes can be derived from the taxonomy. Through it is the most commonly used to assess learning on a variety of cognitive level. The table uh, that we have seen, we have gone through and in this each cognitive level from higher to lower or we can say that lower to higher order thinking. So basically the goal of that Bloom, the Benjamin Bloom is to fill the gap between the teachers and the students. How we can go ahead and indulge ourselves with the students? How we will be able to go ahead and get the confidence of the students? How they will be go ahead and show their faith if we are going to follow these steps? Now, in remembering, as we have asked certain type of questions, all right. So, the remembering, the, which was the first level of the Bloom's taxonomy, okay. Now, in this, the students would be able to memorizing, would be able to remembering, okay. It is like a memorizing a poem, recall state capitals, remember math formulas. That is what they can do, and which we can ask as well. What is it? All right. Can you tell me the poem? Who wrote the poem? What is the table? Okay, of five, six, or anything. Describe what happened after. Who is spoke to? Now and after that, question of understandings. Now we can ask this. Can you explain why? Now, in remembering, the students were memorizing something but now in the second level was understanding in which the students will be able to develop their understanding level they will be able to organize their own they will be able to go ahead and write their in, in their own world they are not going to be limited they are going to be explainable they are going to be expressive. They would be able to express themselves. Okay. The moment we will be able to ask, can you explain why? Can you write in your own word? How would you explain? Can you write a brief outline? What do you think could have happened next? Who do you think? What was the main idea? Can you clarify? Can you illustrate? Or does everyone act in the way that does? And then the term applying. In this applying level, the, the students would be able to apply. That means they are would be able to use. They would be able to analyze, uh, apply. All right. So it comes when the student would be able to remember or the student would be able to understand. Then they would be able to uh, apply. Until or unless the student is not going to remember, not able to remember or not able to understand, they would not be able to go ahead and apply in, this, in his study, in his life. So, do you know of another instant where can you group by characteristics such as which favorite, sorry, which uh, factors uh, would you change if? What questions would you ask of? From the information given, can you develop a set of instruction about? Now I'm recalling these terms once again, okay, what exactly we have gone through. And then the last is, uh, next term is analyzing. In this, the students or the learner would be able to go ahead and analyze, able to judge and in which we can ask certain questions like which events could not happen if happened what might the ending have been now suppose that we are teaching a kind of a story where the end of the story was not happy all right it could be the another end so we can ask the students 
that you can go ahead and you can use it you can analyze it you can put it all right and how you can go ahead and change the ending of it apart from that how is similar to what do you see as other possible outcomes why did changes occur can you explain what must have happened when what are some or the problems of can you distinguish between what were some of the motives behind what was the turning point point or what was the problem with and then we come to the next which is evaluating as i said the evaluating is a term in which the students would be able to judge judge not teachers they would be able to judge their own idea they would be able to judge their own answer okay if they are going to answer it and if this is there is something that they would be able to justify their answer then they would be able to on the right part so in this the students can ask and even we can ask to the students that is there a better solution to just the value of what do you think about can you defend your position about do you think this is a, a good or bad thing how would you have handled it what comes to or uh, would you recommend do you believe how would you feel it how effective are what are the consequences what influence will have on your lives what are the pros and the cons of why is of value what are the alternatives and the last as i said last topic of the uh, bloom's taxonomy is creating or we can say that the last topic is uh, of the higher order thinking is creating where the students would be able to go ahead and create by their own allow me a moment so in this creating question uh, uh, the like creating session or topic that we can ask certain question to the students can you design or to can you see a possible solution to if you have access to all resources how would you deal with it why don't you devise your own way to what would happen if how many ways can you can you create new and unusual use for can you develop a proposal so these are the certain questions in through which we could go ahead and ask the students about it and how it is exactly useful for teachers all right so if we are going to use it definitely we would be able to go ahead and fill the gap of the students we would be go ahead and clarify the doubts clarify the informations in which they are interested and where they would be able to go ahead and develop now apart from that this is the very interesting that uh, where uh, we are going to use the bloom's taxonomy in which we will be able to use it in classroom so as part of active listening active learning okay active learning or active listening that we can say that listening is also a part okay so the moment the student listen to anything very carefully they would be able to answer it or they would be able to learn it as part of play as part of guided reading differentiations all circular areas for feedback linked a learning intentions and success criteria encouraging young people to think questions reflect and work together teachers planning questioning before lessons and for assessment exactly how we are going to use this in the classroom now each part is exactly important and each part of the bloom's taxonomy has its own value in remembering 
or we can say in each term of that the Bloom's taxonomy, we are just going to set a task for the students and where we will be able to go ahead and check or we would be able to go ahead and judge where the students are capable enough or not. Now, in all the learning skills, I have mentioned here words that we might hear or we, when we are using it, even the teachers are still using it, all right? But they are not aware about the Bloom's taxonomy, okay? So the, here are the, some uh, list or the, some words that we can use in terms of remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. So if we talk about the remembering, in which we can say about the list, memories, choose, recite, code, record, match, select, underline, cite, relate, sort, show, locate, give an example, reproduce, quote, repeat, label, recall, outline. These are the terms, okay, if, if I didn't say the remembering, these are the other terms okay which exactly we use this underline uh, sorry understanding in which report recognize review describe observe outline interpret so that we can see the certain things here as well which comes under each topic or each bloom's taxonomy part now here i have uh, like shared how you can go ahead and use this okay so i have shared the link that you can go ahead and show this by your own as well now high order thinking skills encourage what exactly it encourages Mastery of basic skill of literacy and numeracy, ability to work with others, ability to cope with change, well-developed verbal skills, decision-making and the problem-solving skills. It is not for the students, it is applicable for the teachers as well. If I say that ability to work with others, so whether they are cooperative enough, whether they are able to cope with the other or not they would be able to go ahead and develop the skills as well all right now if we say that they are uh, in the high order part if we say that the create analyze if they would be able to go ahead and do it so something that they are developing or teachers or whether the students are developing by their own they would be able to go ahead and make the decision by their own So now here I have mentioned some source where you will be able to go ahead and check this information as well. If you want, you can definitely note it down. Okay. Now there is a there is a nice quote or there is a nice line. This is written that it is important that all learners are given appropriate opportunities to develop their thinking skill. These skills can be developed across a range of contexts including through more practical or applied learning opportunities now this is the, the examples which i have shared and this is something how we can go ahead and use this at our home as well so this is something we can discuss a story in our home in our tuitions in our schools where exactly we used to try to teach someone. Thank you.